Hello there. Welcome back, friends. So this is another tiny tip. I discovered these little bottles. They have a really fine point, as you can see. The best thing to do with these is to put in high flow paint. Now, you could make your own high flow paint by uh, mixing airbrush medium with, let's say, a fluid acrylic and maybe a little bit of water in addition and you get a nice acrylic high flow. Um, I just, I already own these, so I'm gonna use these. Also, Liquitex makes an, an acrylic ink that would also work really well in these bottles. And supposedly, you can also use these for um, resist if you do watercolor, and then you can actually draw with the resist put your watercolor wash on top of that and then take off your resist. I think that is a great idea. Um, I don't work in watercolors, but um, who knows, maybe I'll experiment with that one of these days. So anyway, this, this set of bottles, you get a lot of bottles. Um, let's see how many you get. Oh, you don't get a lot of bottles. You get oh, four bottles but you get a lot of tips. So this is the part that's gonna clog. This is the part that's gonna be a problem. So I like that they give you a lot of, um, a lot of tips because when they clog, you can just swap it out. Um, so that's not too bad. You get four bottles and let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 caps. And, they're, and you can color code them according to um, the type of paint that you're going to be using or whatever. So anyway, I thought today I would experiment by drawing on top of some of my jelly prints. And I want to try different things. So I already tried a little bit here and happy with that. I love black. <laughs> and this, although I love the combination of the orange and the pink, it's very 1960s. Um, I wanted to see a little bit of contrast in there too. So I think that I'm going to continue with that a little bit. This one I might use, this is a really sort of subtle um, background and I'm going to try to trace a stencil with these fine points and then probably do some other things with some of these. Now I want to try to use this with obviously this one already has black in it but I'm thinking maybe the copper see how well it shows up over you know some nice dark colors and then maybe I would like to see how a transparent color works. And then, of course, my favorite color, teal, how that would be over a dark color as well. Let's, let's see if it holds its, trans, its uh, opacity. Okay, so now I'm going to fill my other three bottles with the yellow, the teal, and the copper. So all I have to do, because the, the nozzles on the... Um, Yellow paints is all red narrow, so it fits nicely around the opening of these little bottles and allows me to fill them up and I don't have to add any additional mediums or anything because they're high flow. Probably should have shook that up first because these have a little ball in there and it helps to mix them up. And I probably should have done that before I squeezed it into these bottles. I like that it has the stopper with a attachment to the bottle because you know you could easily lose these I'll continue a little bit more with this okay so keep a piece of paper nearby because your first you'll see sometimes you get like a blob but look at how nice that is and you can actually but see how you get like a blob so you might want to like dab first. And I'm not squeezing at all. It's just flowing out. Sometimes the blob is interesting. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. You could also use this to sign your name. I'm curious to see how this copper is going to look and I'm assuming it has to be over a dark color so just really curious I'm just going to trace around here do you see that oh that is nice that is really nice so probably I would use this more for um, iridescent colors than for anything else probably so you could take a piece of artwork that is maybe a little mediocre and you can draw on top of it and make it far more interesting yeah I'm really happy with that I hope you can see can you see that It's looking a little more gold on the camera, I think, but this is, is a copper. This is the um, iridescent copper fine. Pleased with that one. And you do have to wait for them to dry. <coughs> so I'm going to try the teal on this one. This was one of my recent videos that I did on the marker. I don't think I even showed this one. I considered it a fail. So let's get this started over here on our paper, okay? And, you know, we could use it to also fill and touch up, which is another, or we can just add some additional interest to a piece. Let's see how opaque it is over the black. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, I wonder if you could use this with a ruler. Let's um, find our ruler. <clears throat> Just curious. Oh, I got a dotted line. <laughs> so maybe I have to go a little slower. Oh, that is fantastic. That's almost like using a ruling pen. I don't know if there's any graphic designers out there that know what a ruling pen is. Years ago, before rapidograph pens, we used ruling pens where we actually had to lay the paint down very carefully between these two little tongs. And then we would pray that the, the paint didn't come leaking out. And we were able to get really fine lines like this. Um, architects used to use it a lot also. This is all, all before computers, of course. All right, so I kind of like that too. That, that was now yellow. Let's see. This is a very transparent color. So let's see what happens when we go. Oh, let me get started over here first. All right. Let's see what happens when we... I'm getting an opaque it's fine so I'm also thinking how you can draw over just about anything with this look at that and you can use multiple colors I mean this is like a drawing tool it's like drawing with paint and if you're journaling you could write a poem or anything and I just think this is very interesting where you could just outline things. And then, of course, try other colors. Okay, so I'm not doing anything fantastic today with this. I'm just demonstrating how these are easy to fill with high flow paints. And hopefully, I have no idea if you're going to ask me how easy they are to clean. 
I have no idea. I'm definitely going to be using these some more, especially this copper one. I am in love with the copper. They're inexpensive enough that if these get clogged, you throw out the lid, you pick up another one of the lids they gave you, and you're back in business. What do you think of this idea? I love it. I didn't put a lot of paint in each one because I'm not really sure that these are the colors that I'm going to keep. And I can probably rinse one of these out pretty easily once it gets a little used up a little. But I would probably always keep a black one on hand and maybe the copper. And maybe I'll go buy some gold. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am really thrilled with how I can use these bottles for sure. I This piece I wasn't really pleased with and I am, I'm gonna work a little bit more on this and see where I can take it. I will see you next time. Don't forget, create, inspire, and share.